you know biohacking conversations don't happen as much as they should be happening in india okay but the furthest we've gone is speaking about ozempic in urban centers in our country okay what is ozempic from a first principles thinking yeah. perspective uh, so you know ozempic was the first uh, one of these what they call glp1 agonists and uh, it uh, you know was basically developed for people with diabetes um and it works to slow gut motility which is like how quickly your uh, your you know the muscle you know your you have muscles around your intestines and they're sort of like pushing things along right hmm. um and if you slow that down it gives you a sensation of being full gotcha so you're not as hungry hmm. um and you're not suffering from hunger so you don't have to like fight it hmm. where a lot of times people are like they're trying to lose weight and it's miserable because they're like suffering they're hungry they're suffering uh and so it kind of helps eliminate that right and then then they came up with and so that uses one mechanism of action uh then a little time later uh and so everyone knows ozempic uh the more recent one uh it's called either munjara or zepbound uh is a is one the the scientific name is terzepatide uh and terzepatide works has two mechanisms of action uh so it works a little bit better cuz it's working on two levels okay um and a lot of times people have side effects with ozempic that doesn't work they get very nauseous uh and people tend to have better results from terzepatide uh and so now you can get terzepatide but what they're also seeing is that because it's impacting your metabolic health so much uh it seems to be you know a protective to your liver it seems to potentially increase lifespan um and so those you can kind of get you can get prescribed um there's another one now called redetrutide uh that has three mechanisms of action uh and i started experimenting with this about a month ago um uh, just to kind of see what it's like are, are, we, are we talking generally about weight loss drugs here? yeah okay that's yeah. right yeah but the, the it seems like the power of them is beyond just weight loss. Gotcha. They're improving your metabolic health because so much of your metabolism, you know, as we were talking about earlier, your metabolism is incredibly complicated and it's affecting everything, all your cells, your cellular health, um not just how much weight you have and not just how much fat you have on you. Uh and also when your metabolic health improves, it's easier to keep the fat off of you. Mm. Uh and so uh red atrutide which isn't um it's still experimental it's not FDA approved you can't get prescribed but you know um i know folks that make peptides that actually just make these things uh so i'll get it from them and i'll experiment with it on myself <laughs> um i was actually tweeting about this a little while ago and red atrutide is really cool it's got three mechanisms of action so uh one of the things it's doing is it's slowing down your gut so you're not so hungry Um it's also just directly sending a signal to your nervous system that you're not hungry. Um and then it's got a third mechanism of action which is basically just telling your brain that you're not hungry. So it was wild like I did it <laughs> I took a very low dose of it. Uh I took a dose that was so low I thought it would do nothing. I, I I'm this is probably like almost 3 weeks ago. I'm still not eating that much <laughs> for like 5 days I basically didn't eat. Uh, you're also able to maintain your muscle mass because of the Yeah, because of the fol- because of the the plasma injection of the folostatin gene therapy. <laughs> I'm not losing any muscle. It's wild. <laughs> yeah. So, you know, I basically didn't eat for 5 6 days straight almost and I was, you know, getting a little bit loopy because I'm just kind of not eating anything and my friends are like, "You should eat." I'm like, "I don't want to eat." <laughs> I literally I was almost like repulsed by the idea of eating. That's how powerful it was. I mean, if you're I'm not that big, so it has a stronger effect. If you're, you know, 80 pounds overweight and you took that dosage that I did, it wouldn't you wouldn't even feel it. Mm. You'd need a much higher dose. Um so in a way it almost because I'm pretty metabolically healthy I don't need much of it and it has a very strong effect on me. Mm. The first time I did terzepatide it was the same thing I took a super small dose and for 2 weeks I didn't eat. Mm. <laughs> um but yeah I'm not losing any muscle because my body is just not breaking down muscle. Hey, if you enjoyed this clip from the Ranvi show we've uploaded a ton of other clips related to a ton of other topics so explore the channel because there's something for everyone.